Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian Williams, WWE 13 Senior Game Designer. Uh, here, doing, for the first time this year, Inside the Ring video. We got a cool match that we're gonna demo for you guys. As you can see, we've got my boy Daniel Bryan going up against X-Pac. You know, uh, just one of the many cool kind of dream matches you can have in, uh, in WWE 13 this year. It may not be a dream match to everybody, but I like both of these guys. And we're in the, what is it, the Raw's War Arena. It's very cool. And here we have uh, Daniel Bryan. I just wanted to show this off just so everybody, you know, all those D. Bryan fans out there know that he does have his own special uh, championship entrance scene. And I know he's not doing the yes bit anymore. He's doing the whole no, no, no thing. But you have to understand that during the, uh, the bulk of our production of this game, he was still doing the yes bit. So, you know, we try our best to stay as uh, up to date as possible, but hey, things happen sometimes. I want to give a shout out to my boy uh, Mike Taylor for mocapping this entrance. I thought he did a really good job with it. Really conveyed uh, Daniel Bryan's intensity, I thought. Yeah, there's my boy. He should always have that championship. Always. And here's x -Pac's entrance. You know, I'll be honest, you know, I was never an X-Pac fan, <laughs> you know, during the Attitude Era. You know, the 1, 2, 3 kid, just never a big fan of his, but I tell you what, man, I I use him quite a bit in, uh, in the game. He's got a really cool moveset. It's fun to play as. And in this case, he's going to be fun to beat up. And his interest came out pretty damn good, too, I must say. Shout out to Jay Lethal for capturing this entrance scene. Thought he did a good job. Xbox also got really good taunts in the game. When I use him, I find myself doing a, a, a whole lot of uh, taunting just to see his cross chops. And here's the match. As you can see, I've, I'm playing as uh, Daniel Bryan in this match. And as you can see, oh, there's, a, there's a new move, part of the new uh, limb target system. As you can see, I've got the uh, the momentum meter on by default here. By default, when you buy the game, it'll be turned off, but I, I like to play with it on. I like to see that thing fill up and deplete throughout the course of the match. Oh, another new move. Love that one. So yeah, just sit back, enjoy this match. Uh, this match actually came out really good. It's a nice back and forth affair. Just for those that, that care, you know, I'm playing on, uh, on the hard difficulty setting against the AI. So uh, just, you know, you guys can get a sense of how, you know, uh, the gameplay experience will be once you uh, pick up the game for yourselves. In six days, I'm recording this on the, uh, what is today, the 24th? Yes, so the game will be out in six days. Be sure to go pick that up. Hopefully, uh, for anybody that's still on the fence, for those undecided voters, hopefully this... Uh, this match will push you over the edge to go to your local retailer and pick up the game on the 30th. Oh, look at me, I'm shameless plugging this game. It's a great game, though. It really is. I think it's a huge step up from uh, what we did in WB12. Again, working that leg. Working that leg of Xbox. Oh, here's a new move for, uh, for this year's game. I got a lot of questions and requests about people wanting to know what new moves Daniel Bryan had. That was one of them right there. You might see a couple more during the, throughout the course of this match. What's gonna happen here? Oh, look at that. Crafty AI. Those pullback attacks always get me. So as you can see, you know, we have these new uh, reversal indicators so that you know when uh, you've successfully reversed an attack. 
uh, or if you failed at an attack. Oh, there's uh, Daniel Bryan's patented corner drop kick. Another new move uh, in this year's game. Uh, these, going back to the reversal uh, indicators here, we just saw one right there. You can turn these uh, off uh, in the options menu uh, if you get tired of seeing them. You know, well, we, we really put those in there for the benefit of uh, any new users or, you know, maybe somebody who's uh, hasn't, you know, played the game in a while just as a way to get them familiar with the reversal system. But, uh, but yeah, they can be turned off. Oh! That right there is a new move. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, Xbox. Way too early in the match. Yeah, and you're too close to the ropes. That nice bit of chain wrestling there. Oh! Get oh, right to the small of the back. Oh, another one. Sorry, I didn't phase Daniel Bryan. There you go. Working that arm. Maybe uh, setting up for my cattle mutilation. Let's see what I do here. Groggy. Now, oh, going for a pin. Oh, that was one of our new leverage pins. Uh, leverage pins this year you can uh, trigger uh, offensively. Uh, in previous games, you know, you could only perform these uh, leverage pins as a uh, as a counter or reversal to a uh, standing groggy uh, attack or a running grapple attack. But this year you can now trigger them uh, against a standing groggy opponent uh, as an offensive maneuver. So very cool addition to the game. And that's not going to be the, the only attempt that I make. Only leverage, leverage pin attempt that I make in this match. There's going to be more to come. Up oh, there, speaking of the devil, there it is. Ah, come on, my guy. Still too close to the ropes there. Oh, look at that little catch, catch can. Wrestling action. Boom. This gut buster. Here we go. This is what I wanted to show you guys. This is really cool right here. Oh, and he reverses it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and then another one. Oh. Oh, I never. I, that never gets off of me. I love seeing those uh, those pen counters. Those uh, fish out of water spots is what my my mocap brothers tell me. That's what that's called. Oh, there we go. As you can see, I got my finisher ready, waiting in the wings. I'm not going to use it just yet, though. Still got to soften the next buck up a bit. Get off me, son. Oh. Oh. x pot giving me a little taste of my own medicine there. Very fundamental uh, Russian leg sweep there. And here's one of uh, another new uh, limb target move there. You know, again, working Xbox leg. Oh! Look at that. Nice arm drag counter. Let's do one more of these two play. Oh, brain buster time. Boom! Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough to put? Oh, no. Look at that. So you will notice that the, uh, the AI, they'll definitely kick out of a lot more uh, of the offense in this year's title, uh, which just creates, you know, a much more authentic match. You know, it takes a lot, a lot more to keep the AI, uh, keep the shoulders pinned to the mat, which is great because, you know, it's wrestling. You know, you want to see those, uh, those near falls and those kind of epic long matches that you see on pay-per-view or, or sometimes occasionally on TV. Uh, here's one of our new breaking point submissions, Romero Special. But looks like Xbox is going to roll out of that one. Oh. Look at that. Look at uh, Xbox damage there. I'm getting them. It's like chopping down a tree. Slowly but surely. Victory will be mine. Work. 
working that arm now. Oh, another new move for our limb target system. Continuing to work that arm. Oh. Oh, that's a nice looking move also. Also brand new to the game this year. So it's been sad, you know, by myself. I mean, we've added, you know, approximately. Oh, here we go for the cover. Two. Oh, no, wow, not even a two count. Look at that. Uh, but what was I saying? Yes, we've added, you know, approximately 300 new moves to the game this year for all you move junkies. They should be pleasantly surprised by the amount of. Oh, look at that. Oh, Xbox got his signature. Is he gonna use? He is using it on me. Oh, right in the face. Oh, he's not even gonna try for his finish. Oh, this guy's cocky. Not gonna be enough to put me away. There we go. Swing a neck breaker. Oh. And you notice the referee will now slide into position as well to count pinfalls. You know, he, he's not going to kind of dilly-dally and take his sweet time to get into position. You know, when pins are made, he'll definitely, you know, he'll run and slide into place so uh, he's able to make those, uh, those counts a lot faster than uh, he did in WWE 12. One more suplex. There we go. What are you doing, Dan O'Brien? Oh, we're going for the, uh, the headbutt. Oh, we were. Oh, no. And <laughs> just ate a super kick. Did not see that coming. Oh, no. Is this it? Is this it? No. Oh, look at that. I'm good. I'm good at getting out of those pin attempts. And another leverage pin. Is that going to be it? No. Oh, the drama. Getting to the end game here. Oh, look at that. Xbox hurt. I'm hurt, actually, too. Who is going to come out of this in one piece? Oh, another Rana. Nice time to counter on my part. Oh. You got to love this back and forth action. This is great. And like I said, this is me competing against the AI. More than light suplex. Is this going to be it? No. X-Pac is tough. Oh. Just kicked to the back of the head there. Ouch. Again? Wow. He's just toying with me right now. Ah! Oh, there's no way. No way. Need more than that to put away D. Bryant. Looks like I've got three finishers there. Oh, and another another counter, another leverage pin. Oh, is this going to be it? Am I going to get him? <laughs> oh. Oh, here he comes. One of our new uh, OMG moments. This is the, uh, the superplex to the outside. You know, a fun fact about this. This move was inspired. I mean, obviously, you know, we've seen people try to attempt this move in a couple different matches and whatnot. But uh, I was watching the Superstars match, uh, actually, late last year, involving Tyson Kidd, Trim Beretta, The Usos, Justin Gabriel, uh, Heath Slater. And they actually, I believe it was Trim Beretta, superplexed Tyson Kidd outside the ring. And when I saw that, I was just blown away. And I was like, we've got to get this into the game. You know, Superstars, you know. Never, uh, never underestimate any WWE programming. You usually find some good, uh, some good stuff. And Superstar, they, they, they sometimes have some good matches. I mean, I watch all WWE, you know, programming. I'm a junkie myself. 
Uh, I was going to go for the count out finish, but that's pretty lame. Let's take this back inside. Boot! Big boot right to the side of the temple. Rope break. I'm not going to end the game on that note. Nice counter by myself. Nice European uppercut there. Oh, look at this Xbox. Still got some fight in him. Oh! Get that drop kick to the back. One of our uh, pin combo moves. I'm a big fan of that move, actually. Oh. Another swing and neck breaker. Boom. As you can see, I've got my comeback ready. And I'm using it here. Well, this is it. I'm getting to the end game. Come on, Daniel Bryan, shake it off. Whoa. Boom. There we go. I think this might be it for, uh, for X-Pac here. No. 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 Bam. All right, that's it. You're done, son. All right, and uh, in Xbox, he's not going to escape this. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, sitting through this video and listening to me babble on about this game. And just to remind everybody who doesn't already know, the game will be out October 30th. Be sure to pick that up. It's well worth it.